Wonders program, that was the first time he disclosed what they were planning to do with Spirit of David. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. Hello there. Um, thanks for allowing us into your homes. I have a very interesting guest today, Pastor Shegun Lowa. Shegun, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to be back. It's nice to see you. <laughs> <laughs> well, so much has happened. A lot. If I dare say so myself. Yes, you're absolutely correct. Yes. So let's cut to what you said to us in 2007. Watch this. So what is Spirit of David? Spirit of David is a, well, it's a gospel dance club, if you, if you can call it that. And it's based on the principles found in the Holy Scriptures, 2 Samuel chapter 6 and verse 14. The idea is to emulate what we see there. We meet a man, King David, and um, he's very popular, he's very well known, he's highly esteemed, he's feared, he's respected by all. He has proven himself to be a man of war and a great king, a great leader. But he is without the presence of God, represented by the Ark of the Covenant, and therefore his people are without God. And the Ark had been taken away and had been kept with a, a man called Obed-Edom for about three months, and he had prospered. So David felt confident that he can be restored to the people of God. So he's carrying this Ark, this fanfare, is like a show, it's like an event. There are cows being killed every 30 paces. There's this, there's that. But David is not singing. It's not a special number. It's not a choir item. It's not a drama. He is dancing. And I believe, as the Lord told me, that dance would be a sign and a symbol of reconciliation. Not because dance itself can save somebody, but because dance itself has the ability to express the depth of a man's soul and his appreciation and his thanksgiving like no other way can. And so it's the same spirit or the same attitude or the same mind or the same heart of David that we emulate in spirit of David. We use dance to present the gospel, to present hope, to present uh, reconciliation, to present union, and to give people meaning and understanding. And that basically is what spirit of David is, is, is about. I get into Ife because I don't want to stay in Calabar. I moved to the the quarters where the, the lecturers stay and I go look for a BQ where I can stay by myself. It was at such times I was in my boys quarter, I was taking a shower and I hear my name, Shegun. So I mean I'm, there are soap suds everywhere, I stop and I look outside the window because I'm sure somebody's coming to see me but there's nobody and so maybe I just heard it and I hear my name clear as day just like you would if someone say UD, I mean you hear it right? So wrap a towel go out, go into a room, I think maybe whoever's come to see me is in my room and there's nobody there. So I'm about to go out and go back and the Lord says, it is I and I have work for you to do. And I'm taken to the room, I am told, get 10 sheets of paper. God is an instruction specific, badly. And he tells me 10 sheets of paper and I want you to write, if you want to be part of a dance school headed by Pastor Shegulawa. Now, I have not become a pastor yet, so what is he talking about? Dance, I mean, I like dance. I've always liked dance, but I, like I said, football was my first passion, so what's the big deal with dance? He says, write it and put it there and give it out in fellowship in the evening. Now, I'm almost laughing here. So I tell God, you know what? If, you get, if there are 30 names, just 30 names on that sheet of paper, I'll start this because nobody's going to believe this. So I go to fellowship, I tell the pastor, I've got an announcement to make, and um, he says, no, I can't do it because it's a special service today. We don't, we don't do announcements on special service. I said, even better, it's not going to happen. But he says, but for you, no, he, I was walking away, he stops me, he says, Shegun, the Lord just slapped me and said, you, can't, you must be joking. That announcement must be made tonight. 
Now, this man doesn't do that kind of, he's not the kind of person to just say that. So I'm already trembling because I'm like, Flo, are you serious? The Lord told you about this too? What is God doing? So that evening, I give out the 10 sheets of paper. I go collect it from the ushers after, expecting to see 30 names. or less. Because I'm like, if you give me 30, I see 210 names. 210 names? 210. So if I could have doubted 30 or 50 or 100 or maybe 150, but 210. So I say, okay, what do you want me to do? He tells me, announce a meeting. You've got 210 names. So of course, if you announce a meeting, you expect 210 people. But it was a rainy Friday night. Guess how many people I got? Five. Eight, <laughs> including myself. And I'm thinking, what happened to the 210? Was I seeing things? And God begins to tell me what I should say that this will be a popular people in the land. They will redefine dance. A generation of Christians never seen before will come out of these ones. They will have an attraction, a light. Men will see their works and give glory to the Father in heaven. And I'm telling these people like I'm talking to thousands. And you do what? This is what, 10 years later? This is wonderful. Oh my Lord. It's a fulfillment of every word hmm. that the Lord said to you. And looking back now, I think it's larger than you. It's, it's, it is huger, if I can use that so term. So at the time when you were looking at it, the vision looked very small. small. Yes. How do you cope with it today? I always say this in the spirit of David. It's bad English, but you understand what I mean. Mm. Never went where you were not sent. That's what I tell them. Mm. More or less, don't go if God didn't tell you. It's been, it's been where do you see spirit of David, say, five years from now? Oof. I could tell you that I could answer that same question in one year from now because we've got huge plans. To start with, we are starting the tour of 10 countries, five in Africa and five in Europe. The first of those countries is Burkina Faso. The title of the show is Crash, and it's all about God crashing your ideas and messing up your so-called plans. The Bible says many are the plans in the man's heart, but only the counsel of the Lord shall stand. So we're going to Burkina Faso to do that. It's in French. So, I mean, I have my people, bonjour, 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 go all day long. So, what does this mean, you know? I thought I was a dancer, you know? And it's fun, it's, it's, it's great fun. Um, we'll, we'll also be going to Cameroon, to Ghana, to Kenya, to South Africa, as well as Burkina Faso. In Europe, we're going to Belgium, Scotland, Spain, France, and Germany. All within about a year, year and a half. Um, so that's fun, that's happening. Also, we have an initiative called Spirit of David Takes Two, and we're about to start Celebrity Takes Two. That's where you see your Nigerian celebrities paired up with a Spirit of David dance instructor on TV, and you get to vote who is the best dancer. Now, that is just going to be awesome, because we've never seen it in this country before. We really want people, now, I know this sounds funny, but when you think dance, to think Spirit of David, and in thinking Spirit of David, you think God. The Bible says, let men see your good works, and give glory. And give glory to the Father. I can only imagine what it will be like when I walk by your side. I can only imagine what my eyes will see when you fail. Is before me, I can only imagine. Yeah. Surrounded by your glory, what will my heart feel? Will I dance for you, Jesus? Or in all of you be still? Will I stand in your presence? But to my knees will I fall, will I sing hallelujah, will I be able to speak at all, I can only imagine, I can only imagine. Shagun, you remember saying that to yes, us? Yes I do, I do, I look well. a lot slimmer than that. <laughs> <laughs> well. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> well, as at the time you said that to us, um, a lot hadn't happened yet. Yeah. So you talked about the seven, the ten 
Asian tour. That's right. And the most interesting one was we talked about celebrating split. Has the journey been so far since the last time we spoke? The Bible says that the path of the righteous keeps shining bright. That's right. right. That's so right. what has been happening? Well, it's been fantastic. Like I said, that year we began um, the very first season of Celebrity Takes yes. Two. Yes. We had 10 great and very interesting celebrities. Um, we were able to touch them personally and to use their popularity to forward our, um, our agenda, if you like, about dance and ministry. Um, and God has been very faithful, very, very faithful. Since then, we've also had a second season. We started our nation tour that I talked to you about. We visited um, Burkina Faso since then, uh, Ghana, Kenya, and um, earlier this year we were in South Africa where we ministered in, in prisons. Do, do you know the statistics in South Africa? One in every nine South Africans is in prison. One in every nine. One in every nine. And we, ministered, we worked with the church there whose mission is to reach all the prisons in South Africa. And that's the population if you do the maths. And so we were very honored to go into a, a medium security prison as part of this tour and minister to them and several souls responded and gave their life to the Lord and it's, it's been very touching you know when you see someone who is not going to move the four walls of that place and you walk in minister and you, and you walk out and you have hope you leave you hope and we're all crying we're all holding hands and praying you know, it's been fantastic uh, 2008 I was um, chosen to be part of a, a fellowship program a mentorship program in the United States um, with the Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts I heard that that was just superb and I was, after three weeks, accorded a fellowship. And I was the first Nigerian in my category to ever been given that, um, that award. Um, so it's been really in, in incredible. You know, I've been using the knowledge to teach about arts management, proper arts management, so that people who are into the arts can have a future and a vehicle to further it that is godly based and will succeed. And I'm even organizing a series of programs to that effect, yearly, in, in conjunction with Terra Culture to that effect. And every month we'll be teaching arts management for people who are interested. In I believe that um, what you're doing, you've reached, uh, you've touched more people, you've reached more people more than what preaching the pulpit. You, you know what? It's, it's interesting you should say that there are some huge shows, you know, around the world that have a large viewership. Um, some of the viewership is two million, five million, ten million, which is very large numbers considering. And we, in our first season, hit well over 30 million people. We were viewed in, in the second season, over 45 million people. We were viewed in countries across Europe, um, across Africa, and of course, our nation. And it's incredible when you think that in one hour, you have the potential to reach millions of people, you know, as opposed to cramming people into yeah. a, a space and you have a pulpit. Um, and God will use that pulpit in that place. But there are so many people that won't come to church and so many people that won't be found in those environments that need to hear a word or a psalm or a spiritual song or need to hear a word of encouragement or see something that is wholly entertaining as opposed to what we are being bombarded with these days you know, in the media. And our people, even the church, are getting more and more into the circular way of doing things. So know. that's the only way you can draw the youth. And look, people need to be drawn. Draw people, draw people, let them hear and when they come, he tell them the uncompromising truth of the gospel. Yeah. We had a show in Nairobi. We had a show in, in Mombasa at the Aga Khan. And the Aga Khan is a, is, 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 is a school and you don't do Christian shows in the Aga Khan school, as the name implies. And we had this huge show. We, had, we, were, we were warned the day before that there's some people that don't want this to happen. We went back to our hotels, we prayed all night, and we went back there, and so many of these young kids smart guys, intelligent people were just asking for the songs, they loved the story about Joseph, they talked about having their own dreams, will God help me accomplish my dreams? So yeah, it's, it's been, it's really broken barriers you know, and you know, it's forced us out of that box without compromising our beliefs. It's been incredible, it's, it's very humbling. I mean, the thing that this is something that God told you in the bathroom, Yes. As you stepped out of your bathroom. Yes. In your biki. In my remember biki. That? You remember? If, you know, I, I could have that story told me over and over and over and over again. I think that bathroom is the most famous your, place yes. in your bathroom yes, at all yes, university, yes. right? <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Just hold that thought. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. What exactly has God told you? Do you know when God gives you a vision? 
He makes provision. Because sometimes when the Spirit of God speaks to you, it looks absolutely impossible. But then, God needs, just needs a willing heart. You just have to be willing to do that God has laid in your heart to do. And God will provide everything else that you need. Shagun is an example. Yes. So Shagun, when you sit back today, and that same simple instruction that God mm. gave you, and you see the accolades, the fame it has brought to you, the glory it has brought to God, mm. how it's glorifying God and edifying God's people, how do you feel? Small. I feel very, you know, it's incredible how God, was, God speaks to men and He chooses you. You know, I, I always give this picture if you enter into a shop and there's a row of bottles of mineral or something, and the, the ones that are fuller than others, you know the way we are as humans, <laughs> you want the one that's really full, <laughs> and then you see the one that is almost half empty, is chipped at the top, looks yeah, dirty, and that's the one God picks, takes to the counter and says, I will pay for this with my blood. And you know, the guy behind says, well, haven't you noticed he's half full? He's incomplete. He's this, he's that, he was brought up here, has this kind of education. And the, what, what makes God God is that he can use anyone, anything to his glory. It's, it's change. Change is the biggest testimony of the presence of God in your life. And his speaking has done that. We, we are constantly following him. The temptations to branch out and do this, and they say, oh, you're not entertaining enough, or you're not, you know, and for Spirit of David, they're too spiritual. Yes. You know, and I, and I keep wondering, you, you must be joking. I remember when I was looking for advice on my brain, I'd say, tell people to stop talking about Jesus Christ. They can say God and we'll sponsor. Or change the title, his word made flesh, call it something else. I they almost did. I almost wanted look, when I was I, on this, I feel you. <laughs> and I said, look, I remember we were sitting in front of um, the, the, the MD of, uh, of Sky Bank that sponsored the season one. And he looks at me, he looks at my hair and says, okay, you must be the creative department, right? And, <laughs> and I was there with Uwe and with um, Dr. Shea and some others, and we sat there. And he said, you're, you're a Christian? I said, yeah. I said, but we're also the best at what we do. And that's what we need to do. It's, some will say, we want you for your faith. Others will say, we want you for your skill. And we're going to have to push excellence to the point that if you want the best, you would have to deal with Christians in an industry where you, know, you can take what you want and turn the back and to blaze it with anybody. You know? You maintain that integrity because you are acting out a word, not an idea. And people out there need to know what the difference is when God speaks to them and no, when they have a bright idea. A good, there's a good idea. <laughs> I tell people there's a good idea. And there's a God idea. There's a great idea. <laughs> there's a God idea. Absolutely. And the one that will take you far is a God, a God idea. idea. Do you still go back to God oh, yeah. to ask Him? Oh, yeah. What is the next? Step? All the time. Because sometimes people get so successful. Forget that. <laughs> <laughs> all the time. I mean, we have fellowships all the time. We are constantly worshipping. You know, people say this about Spirit of David, that we dance like we don't pray, and we pray like we don't dance. We, we are just so extreme about worship. I am so particular about it. Um, those who know us well, we know that we, we are completely uncompromising about fellowshipping with the Holy Spirit and His Word. We are almost always ministering. We have a series of ministrations this year. We have projects. Um, every Friday night, we're on the streets ministering, explode in all sorts of places. How about the one you told me that used to get uh, loudspeakers put them We still the do it. We still do it. We've been in all sorts of places, places that you will be holding your pockets in case somebody, <laughs> <laughs> and you're there ministering and they're holding your pocket. <laughs> it's crazy. It's just a, a passion for the Lord. You know, if, if I lose the passion, there's, there's nothing to live for. That's, that's all. That's all we have. We know he's coming back. We know he's our savior. I was telling a brother on our way here, if you had something good to happen to you today, your immediate inclination is to tell somebody else. That's true. Witnessing should be natural to us. If God is good, we should tell someone he's good. And if they'll hear it in a song, or they'll hear it in a dance, then we will sing and we will dance. But the singing and the dancing is not an end in itself. It is so that people will know. Jesus sat on the well of Jacob, asked her for water. He never drank the water at the end of the day. It was an, an access to it. And sometimes we invite people to the well. We think they're going to drink water. They, they come thinking they're going to drink water. They're going to have a great time. They're going to talk this and talk that and see ladies or see guys dancing. 
All you ever meet is a savior that knows all about you. You're welcome back. Shagun, at the time God gave you this vision, I remember we talked about it then. You looked so small. Yeah. Yeah, well, it didn't make sense. It, it, it was, it didn't make sense. Yeah, but the, the thing is, like Mary, you be saying, okay, how is it going to be? You know, you always think, how? Who do I know? Who would fund it? Where the faith should really be at your word. At that time, you didn't know. No, no, no. At that time, if somebody had told you that the spirit of David would take this dimension, go to all the places it's going to, do all the things it's doing today. I'm still finding it hard to believe what God has done so far. But I have a feeling we are just at the tip of it. There's so many things God is still going to use us to do. It's, it's, it's very humbling. I would have thought, well, how? That's the first thing I said, you know, how? And well, it's, it's been, it's happened. It's, it's been happening. I mean, we were in Ghana when we were ministering in Ghana, and the head of the artistic direction there or something said, he was in a room with us. He said, this is the first time in a long time he has sat in a room in Nigeria. And he said, in, on an artistic level, you took us from the church to the theatre and back to the church. And we were not offended. Those were his words exactly. So to a large extent, it is very humbling to know that we are having that impact as Christians and, if you like, as artists, you know, in a, in a realm that is quite highly professional and very high standard. Uh, without compromising our belief, we are going to be compromised. Where do you see the spirit of David? I remember I asked you this question the first time. I said, where do you see the spirit of David 10 years from now? Oh, if you had even asked me where do I see the spirit of David 3 <laughs> years from now, I would have been completely wrong. <laughs> so 10 years. I, I, I remember I asked you that question I, the first time. I think I'm going to be careful to answer that. Let's, <laughs> let's I get blown away. Where do you see the spirit of David 10 years from now? Mm. That was 3 years ago. Have, so I now, have, where do you see the spirit of David Let's go back to three years, three years from now. Yeah, okay, three years from now. <laughs> Very funny. I mean, if you had told me that then. Oh, I don't know. I mean, doing awesome, awesome, awesome things. Still having shows, still ministering. I still dance. I love dancing. You know, I don't think I'll ever stop um, unless they amputate my legs. <laughs> <laughs> that would <laughs> um, So I still see us doing shows around the country. You know, um, I see us ministry still doing celebrity takes two, but doing office takes two, takes two for kids also. Okay. Uh, I see us maybe taking the franchise out of the country and doing it in other countries to a ministry there. So it's, it's, it'll be large, but more or less the same. It's still, it's still ministry, it's still witnessing, you know, it's still dancing. I hope we, we, we will do a lot more um, theatre-like productions because I'm a fan of Broadway kind of productions. I really believe in the stage. It's one of the reasons why I'm inclined to arts management because I really think we can revive the performing arts industry in our country and do proper stage productions and let people go out and not just watch a movie, watch a play. Yes. You know, watch some great instrumentalists at work. And with the proper management, you can do awesome things, you know. So I'm really hoping to do that. And like I said earlier, I'm, I'm putting that in motion. Hopefully we'll get into LBS and some other institutions and be teaching proper administrative work. Do you still have, because I remember at that time you had them in all the universities, do you still have them in all the universities? Well, we have a presence in most universities. Uh, we still have branches in about 10. We had branches in 10 the last time we spoke. We still have 10 branches. Um, and what these branches do is that they carry the shows to neighboring cities, states, and universities because it's, it's a lot more manageable you know, that way. Um, so that is still very much in operation. Um, so, yeah. So, what are you planning for Senate this time? Oh, it's going to be big. I can tell you that. Big. Country has been clamoring to decide on who they want their select. That's the way it should be. They will have I their mean, chance. Send, let them send who they'd like to they will have their chance. watch dancing. Absolutely. And uh, because some of the people you bring there to dance are. Uh, <laughs> no comment. I, I reserve my comments. <laughs> <laughs> I reserve my comments. No, I'll leave mine to the judging table. <laughs> no, but I'm really interested in having a, this season, we're going to go back to a widespread of. of um, celebrities from various fields. Our, our motto is to get Nigeria dancing and, and that's really our aim to redefine dance, to get people to appreciate all that goes into it and of course the glory of God that can come from worshiping in dance, whatever the style of music or whatever. Shagun, we can sit with you all day I, I and talk all day. I know, you know, I know. That. It's been I great coming thank back you here. for coming back here to speak to us and what God is doing. Thank you. And, uh, 
word of God is dynamic. It takes you from one level to another level, one level, and we'd like to celebrate anything new that God is doing with Spirit of Faith. Thank you. And with you to encourage someone out there that God is speaking with, who says, like we said, it didn't make sense at the time. But uh, I thank you very much for keeping the dream alive. Thank you for keeping the word made flesh alive. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. This and God is made will flesh indeed. Move from strength to strength. Amen. Because this your story is really a word given to you Amen. that has been made flesh in your Amen. life. Amen. I agree. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you so much for having me. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Well, what word has God given to you? What instructions have you received from God? What has God said to you that you look, you look at the state of finances and you say, no, I don't have the reputation to do this. I don't have the finances to do this. I'm not in a frame of mind to do this. Well, if God has given you instructions to come with, please do carry them out and God will back you every step of the way. Because when he gives you a vision, he makes provision. Maybe the trial you're going through, the pain, the shame, the adversity you're going through, is because you have refused to carry out an instruction that God has given to you. I believe that once you accept and you say like Mary said, be it unto me according to your word, God will do the rest. Until I come your way another time, thank you for your time. And my name is Ultuak Abbas, meaning God's will. Perfect will. Have a great week. Like me, nobody can hate me, I'm blessed.